For the eighth consecutive regular season game, a sellout crowd here tonight at Rio Tinto State. And what? How well is it? To ha how good is it to have him available off the bench? For Jason Christ, he's going to make six changes. Abdullahi Mansali comes in at the left back. Chris Schuler with Borges. That means Beltran's on that right hand side. Velasquez and Grabovoy on the outs. Three changes coming off the one nothing loss in San Jose. Mark Birch on that left hand side. Ozzy Alonso sits a little bit deeper, but up top. Oba Femi Martins passes a late fitness test. He'll get the start alongside Eddie Johnson. First RSL fans anxious to see what Devin Sandoval can do up top. Yeah, we got a little bit of a look at it with Oba Femi Martins and Eddie Johnson against Portland. Just 20 minutes, but Martins got back on the airplane, went on international duty with Nigeria. Borchers being pressured by Martins. Great move by Gill. Changes fields out wide to Mensali. Left footed ball. Sandoval in! A shot! And a big save by Gisperning. Velasquez. Big save again by the keeper. That's twice the Austrian comes up big. Well, two big saves from Gisperning, but a great opportunity for Sandoval. There's a look at Devin. First year out of New Mexico. Still loose in front, Gisperning, shot goal! Robby Pinley! It's a goal for RSL! In the eighth minute, Finley is first since returning to Major League Soccer. 1-0 RSL. Look at the buildup. Abdullahi Mansali, a floater ball to the back door. Devin Sandoval settles his touch, and it was the big save from Sperning. That ball goes out of bounds. A throw in for Beltran. Just a big bounce up and over Jimmy Triori. The initial clearance goes off Seattle's own player. And look at that athleticism from Robbie Finley. The first save, a huge save by Michael Gisperning. But watch Finley come across. Left foot as he comes down inside the left foot. Very well taken goal from Robbie Finley. Tyson Pace out to take a check on Robbie Finley. Yeah, it looks like Zhao Platt is taking off his sweats and his bib. Not a good sign here in just the 13th minute of the match, Robbie. Okay, you just got to wonder if he took a blow somewhere. Or if maybe, maybe it was a hamstring perhaps too, something like that. Maybe something tweaked. Let's take a look one more time at the Robbie Finley goal just moments ago. And this is unfortunate from Seattle's perspective because Brad Evans on this big bounce. Watch him look to clear the ball. It goes off Ozzy Alonso as Luis Gill was tracking through. But look at that athleticism from Robbie Finley. That first shot is blocked with his right foot. But as he's coming over, somehow has the frame of mind to just drag that ball with the inside of his left before he even hits the ground, passing it into an empty net. Sally giving nice pressure. You've seen that all over the field tonight, Donny, from RSL. Midfielders and others. Here's Plata to Sandoval. Get it in. Big save again. Gisperna Gill a shot. Another save. And Velasquez turned away a third time. That's How just... big is Gisperning in the back line for Seattle? Been tonight. Huge. Helter Skelter defending once again for Seattle. And Without Michael Gishburning, this could easily be 4 or 5 nothing in favor of Real Salt Lake. Near side corner, third of the match for Real Salt Lake. Velasquez takes it. Rabavoy, Gill, header, and in! It's a goal for Gill! This is straight off the training field. As Luis Gill will celebrate, short corner, but watch the movement. Watch how simple this play is. Sebastian Velasquez finds Ned Grabavoy's feet. But watch the touch from Grabavoy and watch the positioning where Luis Gill comes through. Grabavoy is on the touchline. Clipped up ball and Luis Gill, perfectly weighted run, diving header, far post, side net. Straight off the training ground goal right there for Real Salt Lake.
35th minute. It's an amazing ball from that right hand side. Flicked on Plata. Plata in. Plata shot. And another huge save by Gesperning. The Austrian again turning RSL away. Would Plata like to have that one back, Dunny? Well, another breakdown for Seattle. There's that speed of Plata, but again, Gesperning. Just incredible, incredible saves from Michael Gesperning this first 45 minutes. Simple ball up over the top, gets in behind, and close enough, close enough for Gesperning that all he, gotta, all he has to do is stay big, use the inside of his left knee, keep his hands down low, and Plata can't beat him. Plata. Plata. Big save again, Gesperning. How many times? How many times can he turn Plata away? An unbelievable save by Michael Gesperding. Oh, great understanding. Watch this flick into space from Sandoval. And Gesperding took that right off the face. Took it right off the right temple. Just based on the movement off the ball and the creativity we've seen tonight. Yedlin, top of the box, Rosales. Shot, Evans, and it's in. It's in off the post. Brad Evans. Had one gifted in that time, and it's 2-1. Been a warning sign. But Brad Evans, right by the referee, watch his movement centrally. He just follows the play up. Mar Rosales sets that ball. That's unfortunate for RSL because that's a heavy first touch from Rosales. But there's Evans. Not a player in sight. Not a single midfielder tracking him. Evans uncontested. Nothing Nick Romano can do as that shot hits the left post and trickles in. Johnson with a cross. Romano picks it out of midair. Where Real Salt Lake has to dominate, winning these second balls after the initial clearance. Too far for Javi. Sandoval gets it back to Morales. Javi in. Gotta be a foul. Cut from behind. It's gotta be a foul, a penalty, and, and a red It's gonna be a penalty. He's calling a dive. Oh my goodness. Here's my problem with that. Oh my goodness. With an opportunity to challenge like that, pull out the yellow card and give Javi a yellow card for embellishment. But that's a challenge from behind and that's a foul committed. It's the challenge. Com just simple combination play. Good ball from Sandoval. Where does Hurtado touch it? I don't think he touches the ball. Watch the left foot. We'll see Watch it Javier Morales' left foot when the challenge comes from Hurtado. As he plans, where's the challenge? That's a foul. For me, that's a foul. That's a center back talking. He didn't get the ball, Dunny. Didn't get the ball. He impeded the shot from Javier Morales. And that's that. Mark Geiger has blown his whistle and told us that 90 minutes of soccer have been played here tonight at Rio Tinto Stadium in front of a sellout crowd. RSL grabs three points with a 2-1 victory.